If you're a Muslim, I have a question for you. Do you know that there are certain categories of people that Jibreel alayhi salam, Sayyid al-Malaika, he made dua against them that they should be cast into hellfire. And not just that, the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam actually said Ameen to this dua. Now you have to understand that this is the chief of the angels making the dua and the best of creation saying Ameen. What does it mean? It means that this dua is absolutely accepted without any doubt. If you don't, then I'm gonna tell you right now, be sure to watch till the end so you can avoid being from among these people. So one day the Prophet والسلام, he was mounting the mimber as usual to give the khutbah. But this time he did something unusual. For every step that he took while ascending, he said Ameen for a total of three times. So his companions noticed this and after the khutbah, they come to the Rasulullah and they're like, Ya Rasulullah, you didn't make dua, we didn't make dua, so why did you say Ameen? So he says to them, Jibreel came to me and he made three supplications. So he says, whoever sees his parents reach old age and does not honor them, meaning he is disrespectful to them or unkind to them. And he dies in the state without seeking forgiveness from them or Allah. May Allah keep him away from his mercy and cast him into hellfire. Say Ameen. So I said Ameen. And then he said, whoever has your name mentioned in his presence and does not send blessings upon you, may Allah keep him away from his mercy and cast him into hellfire. Say Ameen. So I said Ameen. And the last application was, whoever reaches the month of Ramadan and does not have all his sins forgiven, may Allah keep him away from his mercy and cast him into hellfire. Say Ameen. So I said Ameen.